It's a perfect storm for the housing market. Home prices are unaffordable for many in the country as they face a massive housing shortage, and mortgage rates are hovering at levels not seen in more than a decade. ABC's business correspondent, Lex Christophorus, has the details. Hi, Alexis. Home prices soaring across much of the country, despite higher mortgage rates, which should lower demand and push prices down. If you look at any affordability metric, it is flashing at least a yellow, if not a red signal. Housing is expensive. A recent Realtor.com survey found nationally buyers need to make about $116,000 a year to purchase a typical home. Prices up a staggering 40% in just the past four years, putting home ownership out of reach for many. It used to be late 20s or early 30s when people became first time home buyer, but now it's becoming in the mid 30s or even late 30s. The persistent lack of homes for sale keeping prices high. Many sellers staying on the sidelines, thanks to what economists call the lock-in effect. Homeowners unwilling to sell and give up the ultra-low mortgage rates they locked in just a few years ago. A $400,000 home in 2021, when mortgage rates were just below 3%, meant a monthly payment of nearly $1,700. At today's rate, that same home is about $1,000 more each month. Home prices defying gravity nationwide especially in the Northeast, where prices are up 11% from a year ago. That has some declaring we're in a housing bubble, but experts say not so fast. Prices are being driven by supply and demand. We don't have those irrational reasons of funny, risky mortgages in the marketplace, and therefore the housing market is on solid foundation. It may be on solid foundation, but financing a home is not expected to get much cheaper anytime soon. The rate on a 30-year mortgage you saw there currently a little over 7%. Experts I spoke to expect those rates to end the year slightly lower. Diane, we're probably looking at about 6.5%. So, Alexis, the real estate is usually cyclical. So is there any sense of when that cycle might restart and when home buyers might see some relief here? I think a couple of things need to happen. One is that mortgage rates need to come down. One way to help do that, the Federal Reserve promising to cut interest rates. If we get a cut later this year, that might bring some relief. It won't be huge relief, but something. And then we also need more homes to be built. We need contractors to go out there, build homes. They've been dealing with higher material costs and labor costs. It's starting to loosen up a little bit. But if we had that combo working together, mm -hmm. we'd start to see some relief. All right, Alexis Christophers, thank you. Sure.